It's 11 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fantastic film. What's it like having your life on camera? I mean, uh, for me, it was good. Uh, I'm really happy. I think the Turner Brothers, they really captured uh, everything. You know what I mean? Uh, I want them to, to get all the, the emotions and they got all it perfect for me. Uh, when I watched it, I, it was like just having all the emotions over and over again. So it was a great feeling. I was happy about it. Are you saying we know you're a big Manchester United fan? Have you had a call from Jose yet? Yeah, yeah you're retiring no, no, next year. No, no, I think in time. I think in time it will come. But I haven't had a call. But uh, it's a little bit stressful in the season. But I, I think they will pull through for us. So Jose's watching now. What's your message to him? Call me. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, just just a few others. Um, you, you've been going out with your girlfriend for a couple of years. You hope you think you're going to be retiring uh, next year. Are you going to settle down and have kids? Uh, well, yeah, I'm definitely going to have them. Looking forward to having kids start my family um, and maybe in a couple of years getting married, but right now I'm just focusing on trying to get through this season and then we'll see what happens. Can I get you to do your pose to camera? Can I just get, get you to say, uh, I'm Usain Bolt, you're watching Good Morning Britain looking down the camera? Good Morning Britain. Good Morning Britain, yeah. Alright. I'm Usain Bolt and you're watching Good Morning Britain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah nice stuff. Right, ready? So How you doing? You right. Good to see you. Obviously, London's a really important city to you. Uh, yeah. What's it like premiering your film here today? For me, it's a big deal. I'm really happy about this, and it's really an honor. And when I came, every time I come to London, I get a lot of love, and this is one of the reasons I really wanted to do it here, and it's been good. You're a man who loves to have a you know good night out, go out to a party. What's the after party going to be like tonight? I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm definitely going to go out and have a little bit of fun. Uh, it's a premiere, it's, been a big, it's going to be a big night for me, so I'm just looking forward to having a good time. And what's next for you? I mean, after you retire from the World Championship, um, maybe a life in film? 
Uh, you never know. A lot of people said they, the possibilities that I could do it, so it would be something for me to do or to try. But uh, right now I'm just focused on trying to help track and field as much as possible and maybe do some charity work after that. time. Now, what was the hardest thing for you with the film crew following you around? I mean, it was a difficult point in your life, you know, just before the Olympics. It must be tough for you. Now, surprisingly, the guys with the Turner Bros, they, they made it really easy for me. It wasn't any stress. They really came true for me. They really... It was just fun. They, they became one of the teams so quickly because they, they were just like my team. They were much relaxed. They liked to laugh. They liked to, like to have fun. So it was a really chill and relaxed. It wasn't stressful at all. Just quickly, doping in athletics and sport, I mean, it must be difficult for you and other athletes who have always been clean. I mean, there's a lot of, lots of confidence from the public. How do you feel about that? Yeah, for me, uh, I understand what the sport's about and what, what has happened. But I think the IWF and Water are doing a very good job to clean the sports up and I really, really do appreciate that. And for me, this is why I want to, I want to stay in the sport to help to continue the work that we do. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Have a good night. Thanks. Thanks. Are you saying, I'm Jane from Royce, it's very nice to see you. Are you saying, how does it feel to have, you know, your journey to real immortalise on the big screen and the struggles that came with that? It wasn't easy, was it? It wasn't easy, and that's why I wanted to show people, because a lot of people think that it was very easy and it was as simple as it looked, but it wasn't that. So, this is one of the main things I want to show people, and to show people my personality off and on the track is the same thing. Your mum and dad are coming tonight. Are they? How excited are they? Yeah, but I know I can tell they're very excited. That's just how, that's just how they are. And for, for me, it's just been brilliant. And it's been really exciting and everything's been working good and they're just happy. Are you going to come back to London in 2017 and smash it? Yes, always. That's always the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get out there and kind of feel a little bit nervous? Um, I've always been nervous once and that was uh, 2015. But after that, it's always been easy and good. And what's this I hear about you want to go to football? Yeah, it's something that I think I possibly could do. What are you going to do then? I don't know. We'll see. Um, it does something that I would like to try, but we'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'm would you think about doing any more films? Is this giving you a little taste for Hollywood? Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see how they, how they, how they respond how and they hope everything goes well, and then we'll decide. The <laughs> is there anything well in your, you know, in your career time, that you think didn't go the way to plan and you wish, you know, you could go back and do it again? And how would so you be different? I think everything happened for me. The only problem I had when I first started in 2011, I was trying to better happen in the championship than the Olympics. So it works out. What advice would you give your younger self? Oh, I would always be my younger self. That's why I get serious. I think I, when I was younger, when I started out as a professional, I wasn't that serious. Let's talk about if I started out as a professional, maybe I would have done a lot more. Yeah. Where's all your medals? Where do you keep them all? You must have no room. Safe deposit box. Keep it there. Listen, lovely to see you again, honey. Have a great night. Bye-bye. To find yourself, obviously, I mean, he's a, a, a phenomenal athlete, but he does need to let his hair down metaphorically occasionally. <laughs> How difficult is that going, well, no, we I can't would. go out tonight to one of those oh, incredible oh, parties oh, in Jamaica? Well, he's good at finding the balance. That's what's really important. You're right. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, see you. I'm good. How do you feel about being here tonight? I mean, this is a big occasion. And being the best person you've flown can is quite an incredible Well, it's a great feeling to be here. I have not seen the film yet, so I... I'm excited to see what it's all about. Do you still get nervous when you watch you saying run? I mean, it must be a nerve-wracking thing for you. Not anymore. I used to get nervous in the early part, but not anymore. And you must be incredibly proud of him. I mean, what's it like seeing him now on the big screen as well? Uh, it's a great feeling to know that we are the parents and he's now an actor, so we just want to see what he's all about. <laughs> what do you hope that he's going to do once he retires from the athletics? Well, I am not sure what he's going to do. We are hoping he'll do, continue to do something inside the sport. Yeah. And obviously he's a big uh, personality in Jamaica. Uh, well, Does he you know, have any time to walk around Kingston at all without getting accosted by people? Like well, I'm, I, I'm not actually living in Kingston, so I, I really can't tell you about that. Obviously Hussein's a bit of a party animal. Are you going to be partying hard with him tonight? No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Great, well thanks very much. Yeah, I love Obviously, yeah, fans the around the world they can get it right now, and I'm sure some people are watching it immediately. So but for those who have yet to see it, what can they expect from Ireland? Yeah, Oh just, my just goodness. What was it like for you? You know, when you, when you travel the world. Tell me what it's like. Come quite close together, please, guys. Just enjoy, just enjoy. Yeah, thank you. What's it like being here tonight? Yeah, really cool, yeah. Cold, but really cool. Uh, no, it's really nice to see. It's been a long journey, so very nice. What made you want to do this film in the first place? Why did you say that? 
Well, I think we're, we're, we're interested in sort of like, like feel-good movies, you know, that you go to the cinema, you want to be entertained and you want to come away uplifted. And, uh, and so he's kind of the perfect subject for that. You know, his achievements in sport are kind of unparalleled. No one else doesn't ever lose. You know, someone like Serena Williams is in the film, is amazing. Even she loses sometimes. Usain just doesn't lose. So we were interested in that. And he just seemed like a figure of joy, you know, and, and had that impact across the world of real um, love and, and it's kind of nowadays it's nice and refreshing story to see that as opposed to some of the you know harsher stuff that's out there. So did you consciously choose to kind of leave out some of the more kind of like clubbing and clubbing and that aspect of things? I think the clubbing is in there, the party is in there. It wasn't so much leave out, I think you've got to make choices and um, for us I think we, what we felt was unique in the story was him showing us his vulnerabilities which you don't see anywhere else. The, the, the clubbing and the party scenes kind of reported on quite a lot so it's not not out there, you, you can kind of see it. So, that was what felt like the unique perspective for us. So that's that's what we, we kind of followed, right? I heard anybody said that. I don't know, I don't know who's here. Yeah. 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 That's you get really nervous. So, so you get really nervous. Sorry, I just got it That's it, that's limp. Is it? You've got to get a shot on limp. Right? That's why we love athletics, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I'm sorry about that. I know you're in the middle of your day. It's This is why you do it, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, one of the greatest ever Olympic moments, right? And that man went and won an Olympic gold for us. Unbelievable. Anyway, sorry. Well, I just I saw you said earlier that you obviously got really nervous, uh, you know, when you're watching you saying run. Where were you watching him run from? Were you in the stadium, sort of down by the track, or? Well, yeah, we hustled. Uh, we were given a spot, and we hustled an even better one. Uh, we were one block up, parallel to the, the finish line. But then we realised, as the race was about to begin, that we, we had this thing about showing all the people watching it. I think the film comes out so soon after the Olympics, and no one in that audience doesn't know he's going to win. So uh, we, we liked the idea of showing everyone watching it, and we spotted Ricky in the crowd off to the right. So although we had the Ladies perfect position, we were like, just turn the camera and film Ricky. Because there's 1,700 cameras in there on the event anyway. So uh, yeah, we had an amazing spot, but we didn't actually film the race in there. And did you get any sense from you saying about what he's going to do once he retires? I mean, do you think he's got a career in the NFL? I think he's got a career in the NFL. I keep saying it. I think the guy would make an incredible wide receiver or tight end. Uh, so I think NFL, but I think he likes football. I think he'll be a, a sort of a global icon that will sort of dip into lots of different things and probably do more um, inspiring kids and, and trying to like push the sport forward and send his message across. I don't know what else. I, I guess that kind of stuff. I just quickly, obviously he's you know a big party animal. Let's get out. I mean, what do you think tonight the after party is going to be like? Well, I'm not working anymore. The North Bend, so it should be good fun. I hopefully I'll be able to enjoy it, which is exciting for me. Thank you very much. Cheers. There's something else as well. I think you You're from Sunderland. Well, I wash it. Yeah, we're fans. You know, I can't Big be Sunderland fans. Big Sunderland fans. Big Sunderland fans. Well, you know, you, 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 you narrowed it, the accent right down there. You know what? I think I'm, I'm pretty sure we've, uh, we've. I think I've drunked a few weeks ago. It's actually not so much work. Very possibly. It's back to work today. Yeah, okay. You're saying, Bo, I mean, how cool was it just kind of documenting this journey for you? It's unbelievable to go to the Olympics anyway. We both had bought tickets and watched from the crowd in London when the Olympics was here. So uh, to go there with you saying was amazing. And I can imagine how much fun it was.